My hair just can't be bothered today. Did you see what I struggle with every day? Like, seriously, like, can you just look nice for the camera? Like, this is what I have to deal with every day, you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 30 week bumped date. And a lot of stuff has changed since my last update. I look a little bit different. I'm already 30 weeks today and she is growing really, really fast. I'll put a picture on the screen right now so you guys can see how I look at 32, 30 weeks. I was gonna say 32 weeks, um, I wish. 30 weeks, that's how I look right now. And I wrote everything down because I tend to forget a lot of stuff, so. I have a couple of stuff to talk to you guys about. Um, like I said, I'm 30 weeks today. Today is September 1st, which I'm very excited. I, I cannot wait for her to be here because I'm just really tired of being tired. You know what I mean? I'm really exhausted and I just want her to be here already. First thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, my eating has increased a lot. She's growing a lot faster now, so I tend to be hungry every two hours. So it is very uncomfortable because I don't eat that much in a regular basis, so like I only tend to snack on stuff. So I don't eat meals when I'm hungry all the time, I just snack on stuff so I eat my big breakfast in the morning and I'll have to snack like two hours after that so next thing I want to talk to you guys about um I have been extremely tired and exhausted now like before my second trimester I was just perfect I was just fine I can do everything and I'm not tired I'm not exhausted now that my third trimester just hit me I am out of breath even when I get out of the shower like I can't be standing for a long time my feet tend to hurt also so my feet are getting swollen now. The other day my feet got swollen. If you follow me on Snapchat, I'm sure I Snapchatted about that, but my feet are getting swollen to the point that I, the only thing I could wear is sandals. When I get out of the shower, I'm exhausted. Like, I love taking a shower, but after I get out of the shower, I have stuff to do. Like, I have to do my whole skincare and I have to brush my hair if I wash it the, that day. So it's a lot of stuff that I have to do and I have to um, lotion my whole body and stuff like that so like bending over is not easier for me anymore I get really really exhausted to the point that I can't breathe so I literally have to sit down on the bed to brush my hair because I feel like I'm dizzy I'm out of breath I can't do it my boyfriend every time he looks at me he always tells me are you okay and I'm like yes I'm fine I'm just exhausted and another thing that I noticed I've been really annoyed lately I get annoyed easily now and it's kind of messed up because I'm not that type of person that gets annoyed out of everything when my boyfriend tells me something or when he's touching me a lot I get like annoyed like don't touch me I'm sweating I'm very uncomfortable like I feel very uncomfortable now too so yeah that's what's been happening another thing is I've been getting hot flashes like I told my tia this and she was like oh my god that is so normal she's like I get them all the time girl so that's normal and I'm like what do you mean it's normal and she's like well you're pregnant so that's normal Normal. I know it's normal, but I never used to feel that so like I get so hot It just hits me out of nowhere. I know it's TMI, but it's incredible It's I sweat so much even when I sleep like I can't cover my whole body I only have to cover my belly up from my legs down. I can't cover my whole body I'll be sweating all night. I'll be like dripping in sweat sweat all night so like ah uh, so disgusting another thing is that I wake up in the middle of the night just to use the bathroom I never used to do that before because I hold my pee when I don't want to get up I literally hold my pee but when I feel that it hurts so bad like I have gotten to that point where it hurts so bad and it's so bad to hold your pee when you're pregnant so don't do that I do that because I'm so lazy at night and I don't want to get up and I'm just so comfortable and I want to sleep you know what I mean but I have to get up I have to this to the point that I have to get up if not I'll pee myself yeah that's one thing I've been getting up in um, in the middle of the night just to go pee only one time a night so yeah the thing is I've been drinking a lot of water like no other I love water water is my jam I drink these Dasani water bottles like I drink three bottles a day almost four like it's crazy how much water I've been drinking and this water is delicious by the way so I love Dasani water it's just 
so good. I don't know if I told you guys about my glucose test. When I went to the doctor, I got my glucose test and I did pass my glucose, but it came out that I have, that I'm anemic. So yeah, it's also normal to be anemic while you're pregnant as well. I have been anemic way before I was pregnant, but for some reason now to this point, that's how they, it came out. Because before when she was checking me, I didn't have anemia and now it came out that I'm anemic. So I don't know how, you know, know how it is or how it goes but I have to take my iron pill every day and I have to take uh what is it laxatives I have to take two laxatives a day just because taking a lot of iron um gets you constipated I know it's TMI but it's true so um I told that to my doctor like I used to be anemic before and I hated taking iron pill because it's the worst thing ever it gets you so constipated to be honest like I hate talking about this on camera but it's, this is just so true as TMI but I've been taking that every day um she wants me to take that until after the baby I think something like that so yeah that's what's been going on another thing is is that the baby she's moving extremely hard now like the other day she kicked me on my ribs and it hurt it so bad and I was like hey I was literally in pain like it hurt it so bad because she just hangs up really high up now and it gives me a lot of heartburn that's another thing she likes to go all the way up like I don't know if you guys can see but like underneath kind of like my breast area I can feel her sometimes like right there and it gives me a lot of heartburn and when I eat when she's really really high up I don't finish my whole plate because I get full really fast so that's another thing I've been eating but I get really full really fast yesterday I was trying to edit this video that I did upload it today I believe I'll leave it on the screen I'll put it in the bottom bar I was editing that video and she was like not having it out she was like moving all over the place and extremely hard you can see my stomach moving all over the place I think she's getting very uncomfortable for some reason so she's moving a lot more now so that's what's been going on she's not moving right now probably because I'm talking I don't know but yeah that's all has been happening these past couple months like I mean since my last update that's what's been going on so far um, I don't do these updates um, every week just because not a lot of stuff happens every week like everything is the same to be honest um, so yeah and also I wanted to share with you guys her name we have a name already so her name is Aaliyah Murray that's gonna be her name and I'm really excited about the name because I, I haven't heard that name before I don't know if you have heard it like let me know but that's her name um Aaliyah Murray yeah so I talk to her all the time and she moves when she hears my voice in the computer a lot but when I'm talking she doesn't move at all so yeah and another thing is that um, my baby shower it's next month which I'm super excited about because I'm excited to see my family my friends that I haven't seen in a long time and I cannot wait to spend the time with my family and my friends the people that I love so I'm really excited about that I might do a baby shower get ready with me if you guys want to see that just let me know in the comments but I'm sure I'm going to be doing a baby shower get ready with me so as of today um, she is as big as a butternut squash so I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see how butternut squash looks like so and she's 17 it says she's 17 inches um, and she weighs like three pounds I have 10 weeks to go so yeah I'm super excited I cannot wait for her to be here um, of course, I'm very nervous and um, scared because I don't know what could happen. This is my first baby. But other than that, I'm very excited. I cannot wait for her to be here. I just want to be myself again, to be honest. I just want these 10 weeks to pass really fast and I want to have her in my arms already. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, let me know which type of video you guys like to see next. If you guys want me to do a baby shower haul, I would definitely do that. So yeah, I'll definitely do that with my boyfriend too. So um, let me know if you guys want me to do that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. I'll leave everything in the bottom bar for you guys. And thank you guys again so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.